Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be covering everything you need to know about setting the custom query parameters for the listing grade widget while working with the Jet Engine plugin. So, setting meta query parameters is quite a simple task. What you need to do first, what you need to do beforehand, before you start working with the listing grade and the meta query settings, is you need to create a, a meta box. You can do that if you go to your WordPress dashboard. And then you need to click on Jet Engine and go to Meta Boxes. Here is where you can create a new Meta Box and assign it to the post type that you need. I have already done that. I have created the Meta Box that is called Cities. And if I click on it, so here is where I can learn the ID of the Meta field that I need. So I want to get the information from this particular meta field in the meta box cities. So what I do here is I paste the name of that meta field that I need. So now it's not showing me anything because I need to type in the value in here. And the value, one of the multiple values that I have put in the meta fields city in different posts was London. So there we go. Now it shows me the posts that have that particular value in their meta field. If I want to insert more than one value, I can do that totally. So I simply type in with uh, the comma, but nothing really happens because the operator is now set to equal and if you type in multiple values multiple different values it is bad um, to use operator in because now it's gonna work there we go so we can go on and we can type in more and more of the values of different values that we have assigned to different posts there we go so now we have one more and you can go on and the operators, some of them are really only for the numeric values, like between or not between. It's not going to really work with the characters. Actually, talking about the type of the value, here you have the type of the value, which is numeric, binary, character, date, date time, decimal, signed and unsigned. It's it's actually pretty obvious if you are working with the values that are date or which are the date and the time, it is better to use the corresponding type, actually, which is not bad. <laughs> it, is, um, it is the way to work with it. It is to use the corresponding type of the value. So it is date and date time. If you're working with, um, let's say, prices or other numbers, you need to use the numeric or decimal, really depending on the numbers that you use. Numeric or decimal type, and in our case it was character. So, for example, equal or not equal, greater than, greater or equal, less than, equal or less, um, between, not between, in as well. But most of these are going to work with the numeric values only, like between, between, equal, not equal, greater than, etc, etc. And for the character value, like in or equal are correct ones. If you choose equal, it's only going to look for one single value from this field. And if you choose in, it's going to look for all of the values that you have typed in the field. And here, if you want to get the value from the query variable, like from the WordPress query variables, you can paste them in there and also work with the operator. So now we're done with the meta query.